Hey, this is Ken Casey from the Dropkick Murphys, and I love the Grandstanders! <laughs> Your host Scott Kerman, and I'm joined by my usual cohorts, the Professor Russ Stevens, Uncle Joe McLaughlin, and he's Milton's first son, Tim Hoey. Well, we have another great show for you tonight. So, boys, let's get it started. First of all, Happy New Year's Happy to New my Year's. fine yeah. friends, yeah. and Happy New Year's to everybody out there in the and audience. I want to congratulate you on your article in the Washingtonian. Thank magazine. you very much. Yes, Thank indeed. you. Appreciate. Yeah. yeah, it's in the another, back. Now the feather in the cap. <laughs> My it's not even a Red Sox Friday. article. Yeah, right. And so I hope everybody has a good 2019, guys. And so far, so good. So 2018, the Bruins did, we went to the second round of the playoffs, yeah, right? they looked okay. They looked like a, a, an up-and-coming team. Yes, yeah. Bruins, second round of playoffs. Celtics, the um, Eastern Almost Conference the Final, Final, seventh Final, game, Final, right? Yeah. The New England Patriots Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Do you remember and, that game? Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> no, I forgot that game. <laughs> but what I do remember is, the greatest team in the history yeah. of Boston Red Sox yeah. won the World Series. Yeah, sure that did. was a pretty damn good year. Yeah, that was a good Let's year. see if we can I don't know, tough to equal that. it. Yeah, yeah, it's right. tough to top But we'll that. do it. I know it. Back-to-back -back double play. Right? So, boys, I have, I have to give the fellas. See, I give the props where props oh, are All the time. All yes. three of these guys. This is hurt. This hurts. No, it hurt at all. Absolutely. No, we're only as strong as our weakest link. Well, we know <laughs> who the weakest me. link is <laughs> on this one. Me. Yeah, absolutely. These, all these three guys had 11 and 5. So congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. And um, But could you have predicted... If I had told it was you, a very pessimistic eleven and five, as I recall. Well, so no, I look. I'll you know give you credit. Five five. You guessed nine and seven, nine and, and seven. I said to you the other day it, that was an eleven and five season that felt like nine and seven. Yeah. It sure did, right? Absolutely. And if I told you guys that before the season that the that we would lose five times to teams that did not make the playoffs, which is what happened. Would you tell me still that they would 11 no, no, they, eight they, they eight turned maybe? into a typical NFL team, losing on the road, winning at home. That's exactly right. right. Great point. Yeah. The most typical Patriots, I mean, this is the most typical the Patriots have looked compared to the rest of the NFL. For a long, long time. And yeah, a long they've time. backed themselves right down to the level of Right back the rest to mediocrity. And that's what's going to end up killing them at the end. Right? Look, <laughs> I'm, I will and say it again. Say it I will again. say it every week. We will convince ourselves we're going to yeah. win our first home playoff yeah. game. And going in, we, we're going to sit here that Wednesday night and, Come and on, whoever Kansas we're City playing, lose. right? Come and on, we're yeah, going to convince ourselves that, hey, you know, if this happens, if that happens, we could find we ourselves. We can get into Mahomes' Bowl. head. Of course. He's, Russell, he's young. Like it's just going to happen. Lose. As I was watching That's the game Sunday, all I could think of was Russell, the way he laid it out last week. They're going to win convincingly, and we're all going to buy back in. Well, of yeah. course we're we do. And back we do every on. Year. Yeah. Right. They've proved it. But we've been to, what, 10 straight AFC championship yeah, games? <laughs> so it's been that it's kind crazy. of... crazy. Yeah. Well, we but, have the Jets, the Bills, and the uh, Dolphins to thank for that. They are just a ridiculous yeah, franchise. Is all yeah, of them. They really are. They, they put the red carpet out for the Patriots to get a bye week and then be two games away from the Super Bowl. So, wait, 9-7 and seven would have won the division, too, right? Uh, tied with... Miami, maybe. Yeah, we're not we're, sure. We're, yeah, I think right around maybe there. Yeah, maybe. Just even worse. Yeah. Crazy. All right, so boys, what you're gonna see now is because we have no Josh Gordon, who is our key wide <laughs> yeah. receiver. You're gonna see, and you're seeing it uh, already, is the running backs are gonna be wideouts. You saw that with Burkhead mm -hmm. uh, uh, last week. Mm -hmm. um, but James just, White can't catch a deep ball, so he's not really a threat out there. But it's basically the offense is as the running backs go, so goes the yeah. Patriots. Well, I, I, I think there are, there are no more deep balls. This is not yeah. a deep ball offense. Brady right. doesn't not appear to... It right, it's fine. Like, so, so just throw the ball less than 15, 20 like yards. Like we used to treat these right. little five-yard passes just like a very it successful be, running play. It becomes J.R. Redmond again. 
Green Bay. Yeah, but yeah. Because you can pull this off in a three-game season. You can. And that's ultimately what your dream is They've right now. They've proven it before. And They've with won. Brady not looking like Brady, maybe these five- and eight-yard passes uh, might, you know, throwing to the running backs might suit him better right now. Look, I think our last so the last Super Bowl we won against Atlanta, we didn't really have deep threats, right? There no. was no Josh Gordon, Randy Moss. It, it was Julian Edelman, was Chris Hogan. Chris Hogan, yeah, right. he's, he actually functioned. And, and Amendola. And we still have him, but now. both of those guys, in the playoffs, we tend to go to a shorter ball control yeah. offense. I think, I think Edelman has to come up, John. I totally agree. It's going to be weird not to have Amendola. Actually Look, on the good news team. was <laughs> Edelman looked much healthier the other day. His cuts were crisper, and Brady looked much better. He did not bail out of one throw. And you know what? I like seeing right. Gronk, even though the play was reversed, but he looked like the Gronk of old, carrying play. that defensive back for five yards on his back. On that one play. And it's yeah. sure going to help if they have two weeks rest. Yes. Did anyone else? Did, did anyone we're else? Right. ourselves. I told <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, right. Did you guys care that <laughs> that, that, that Gronk yeah. pass was called back? Didn't because care of at that point. I didn't yeah. care. Right. I liked seeing the Gronk of old. True. There were flashes of the Gronk. Yeah. And also, they have to defend that now. Teams see that on tape, yeah. too, and go, okay, yeah. he can still get They're going to throw it down the same to him, and they're going to have to cover it. Yeah, absolutely. No more single coverage. Okay, so, again, we had a Philip Dorsett sighting. Now, this guy looks like an Uber athlete, right? And he sure. looks like a guy who can run forever. He Apparently, the last, what, 16 passes that have been thrown his way. All catches. All catches. Yeah. Um, if Patterson can't go because of his knee injury, We've got to see more of Philip Dorsett. Wouldn't you agree? He made a great catch, great yeah. route, great catch in the end zone. I think there was another play. He made a nice catch with his yeah. hands. He had a couple of end arounds. You know, the secret with Brady, are you in sync with Brady? Brady, you know, yeah, you have to right. be Brady's buddy. Yeah, you could be freaking Jesse Owens out there, and if, if you're not running the right route, mm. you're not getting the ball. I th I think <laughs> Even that's if a, you're running the right route, if you're not the uh, buddy, you're not there. Yeah. I think that's the other good takeaway, positive takeaway from the game is that Clearly, he, he got spread. on the same page with Dorsett, and he got on the same page with Hogan a few times. Mm -hmm. And if that's the offense that we're carrying in, I know the Jets aren't great in defense, yeah. obviously, but if that's the offense we're carrying into the playoffs, I think we at least give ourselves a shot offensively. Yeah. Well, I think he was told, come on, you're not yeah. playing your foolishness. You're, you're throwing to everybody. Okay, so I hate seeing Tom Brady roll out in a – Plan play. Would you yeah. agree? Has that? He's that not very worked, graceful. That no. has not worked in 19 years. You know who else hates it? What? Giselle. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Can they just stop we that can't, play? We can't even go there with Scott. No. Yeah, yeah. We can't even go. Yeah, right. open absolutely. that door. Yeah, crack, right. yeah. yeah, Giselle's going to be on the sidelines with cards. The yeah. cards call the plays. One of those big rubber bands on him every time he starts <laughs> yeah. going. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, right. Yeah, right. She, she pulls but it Belichick's play, getting his, listening to his earphone, listening yeah. to Giselle's play call. Yeah. yeah. But there's certain plays. Knock Bob Kraft off his chair. Yeah. Every time he <laughs> There's certain times during the game that Josh McDaniels has a brain fart, right? Yes, he does. Yeah. And then he calls plays like that, and you know they're doomed for failure, yeah. right? Yeah. Can we not have these plays? I know he's watching right now. Yeah. Can we not call these plays <laughs> during the playoffs? Because we actually could win a Super Bowl with this and crappy Definitely team. not that Philly play where, where uh, Brady goes out for the pass. Please. Oh, uh, look, yeah. That's been an absolute disaster for every sure. time they've tried it. Look, the 2001 team, though they had a lot of great athletes yeah. on both sides, was not a great team. Was right. It, no, no, they had a very good defense. But they were the not a great team. They were a great team. But in retrospect, when you look back, who Tim was on that Willie team? McGinnis we had yeah. Brewski. We had Ty Willie McGinnis. Law. We had Ty Law. Yeah. We had Lawyer Malloy. 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 Yeah. We had some serious guys who, Defensively. At, who, at the time, you didn't look at them and you go, they are great. Well, in retrospect, they turned out that they were great players. But the offense was pathetic. Well, I don't you think know it was they pathetic, had, but I mean, I mean it, it wasn't it, a great offense. Antoine Smith is the, running back. Well, Antoine Wiggins Smith. is tight end. I Scotty, mean, what they hadn't had for years was a guy who was going to get you three yards no matter every time. what. Yeah. You know, it's third and two, third and three. Antoine Brown that year got those three yards every time he was asked to no, run he did. Four yards. times he's got a first down. Yeah. Four times he's got a first yeah, right. down. They hadn't had that. It was When it used to be third and two, you know, might as well just send the Patriots. And up just the field. last point in this, we should never forget how great a player Troy Brown was. Oh, he absolutely. Was yeah. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, of course, terrific. special yeah. teamer too. All right, so boys, I saw something that I had not seen that I thought was extinct <laughs> in football this last week. A defense apparently can score a touchdown on defense, yeah. and they actually can turn we the get ball over. Yeah. And w we can create fumbles and actually get you, them. You know, and I'm gonna, run with I'm the ball. I'm gonna nitpick a little bit. 
just run over the freaking goal line before you turn around and start uh, yeah, congratulating right, with yeah. your teammates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. That, like that just drives me crazy. Yeah, right. yeah. I know, right? Yeah. Calvin Oil is such a special yeah. player that he can do that. Oh, yeah. my God. No, but it was remarkable to see, actually, a yeah. defense do normal things. And we have not had a defense that had created great turnovers, even in the recently in the Super Bowl years. This team is challenged defensively, but it does have a knack for turnovers. The Jets are shockingly inept. Yeah, this inept team <coughs> has turned has the ball over. Yeah, the Jets they, are they shockingly inept. Oh, they're horrible, yeah. Okay, so boys, I ask you this question, you know, because I've been very hard on Bill Belichick, and I think at times he deserves it. Yeah. Um, do you feel we still, going to the playoffs, still have the advantage as far as coaching? Oh, yeah, but more and more, the rest of the league is starting to copy his methods and their game planning for him instead of just doing what they do. And it's not as big an advantage. Points-wise, what's Belichick worth? Seven points It depends game? against oh, who. I, By the I way, I more. Yeah, it depends so against right. who. Like, Doug Peterson outcoached him in the Super Bowl last year. He sure year. did. Yeah. Jim Harbaugh can't outcoach him. Andy Reid can outcoach him. Tom right? Coughlin. Right. I don't think Jim O'Brien's out coaching. Guys, no, no, he's not. Belly. Guys he's that not. game play right? just no. like he does. Uh, do I don't know either. the name of the Chargers coach. Unlikely. He's <laughs> yeah, I don't know the playoffs. name. I think he has a name. <laughs> <laughs> the playoffs, though, who would you rather have at the helm? You know, and, and you know what kind of highlights a little bit? You're looking at the Pittsburgh debacle that's going on right yeah. now. You know, it, I must have read 10 articles that said this would not happen under Bill Belichick. This yeah. would not happen. Well, we've had a lot of bad things happen we under, have, under yeah, Bill but Belichick, but Mike Tom was a bad We coach. had our controversy in the offseason with uh, Brady and Look, Gronkowski. Well, the Philly papers, Belichick. all they say is this wouldn't happen under Belichick. Yeah, going into the playoffs, I think there's probably two tiers, and there's three guys in tier, you know, tier one, which is Belichick, Peterson, and Reed, who are just legitimate. You know, Reed, you could Do say it year in year, yeah, out. year in and year out with Reed, and then Peterson just coached his ass he, off. He last went year. to the like right, well, the New Orleans, NFC Championship New Orleans game coach. about five the years. Oh, by the way, yeah, yeah, and and I would absolutely that that's a great call and yeah. Peyton, yeah, right, proven guys. Super Bowl that, winners. Do we yeah. put that loss on Matt Patricia, though? I mean, was Matt Patricia our coach or was Bill Belichick? Somebody our coach? didn't prepare us to play a run pass option team last yeah. year. Yeah. I don't know yeah. who's, yeah. who it lands on. Yeah. Ultimately, the head and coach. Foles had the great, in my estimation, the greatest <laughs> had a great game. game. Well, and, you didn't pass and, rush Foles. Once needed again, to get we're talking yeah. about last oh, well, year's Super Bowl. I know. Yeah. We just can't get it. We can put that in the past. All right, so, boys, I ask you. we I've always been big fans of Guskowski, our field goal kicker. We've had, what, two in the Brady era? No. Um, and we could end up playing the other one, which would be remarkable, and Vinatieri. Why can't Gosco kick the ball into the end zone? Why? Because every he time can. He's not allowed he to. He's, he's so he's you're saying that Bill old. Belichick still believes that he has this remarkable Or Joe special Judge, team. who's well, a special team. They were coach. obviously not kicking to that kick returner for the Jets. Okay, that particular game. But over, overall in the whole season, Guskowski is not. One out of every four of them seem to go They think they can zone. beat that 25-yard line yeah. by kicking off to the two Stupid. and make in covering, and Look, they can't cover. The, the best evidence that you need for that with the fact that we lack athletes and team speed is how bad our special teams have been. Yeah. Yeah. Special teams are about team speed. Right, right, and youth and athleticism, yeah. and and the reason why our special teams are so bad this year is that we don't have enough good athletes on this team to no. play great special teams. And Slater's like seventy-four years old, and he's still the best guy <laughs> I mean, on the team. Seriously, he's like he thirty-five years old. Every time right. you look, who tackles? There's <laughs> yeah. Slater on the back of the shirt. Right? That's right. He's the only one that makes tackles. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't then we get find it. out we don't even know. That's why we're not McClellan does something right we don't know because he hasn't made a tackle the whole season. No. He could have been there for five years, we don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. exactly. The, the whole McClellan clan. I'm still being surprised by names. I'm like, that guy's on the Patriots? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Humber. Guy, a guy named King is on the, the, on the Patriots. He's been, he's been on there for three for years. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but you've never heard his name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's the other gunner. <laughs> <laughs> well, he hasn't done anything I yet. Just, it's always Slater. <laughs> yeah. All right, so boys, we have to pay you know, the Patriots have a lot of money. Bob Kraft's very rich. And, and you know, he's from Brookline. I don't know if yeah. you heard about that. Brookline but, um, zone. We have to pay some players at the end of the season. I know we don't have that many to pay. North Brookline, by the way. <coughs> Real, of oh, course. Fuller Street. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's where he's from. All right, yeah. but he's South Brookline now. Yeah. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, we Moving northern, on up. We so North and <laughs> South guys, yeah. <laughs> that was territorial. That was a Brookline moment. Mm, yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. We, should we pay Trey Flowers? Yes. yes. Okay. 100%. Should we pay Trent Brown? They um, they can't pay him. I'm that. sure they'd they're like to, going but he's going to get gonna pay top yeah. end. anybody. Oh, you don't they, think you they think just not. don't pay? They may well, pay they flowers. Pay someone. You they pay put high tower. Look, they always wow. they 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 will pay a defensive guy every two or three years, right? They paid McCourty. 
they paid high tower high flowers back. right gilmore high, gilmore, gilmore. Yeah. And, then they but try to take it back agents, the next right? year flowers is a flat out stud right now yeah i think you pay flowers i think trent brown they'll they'll put isaiah win in that position you know next yeah, year yeah cuz right? it seems you know what they, they drafted do is since, they, since they, they assigned they, they signed Shaq Mason and got rid of the they the seem position to assign a, a dollar number to each position yeah. and and they pretty much stick to it all right, no. so boys, we got wait, we we got we, we got to go here and to uh, let, quickly. Let's get because we got to get to the Celtics. And well, the Red oh Sox yeah, we got to get. But to all right, so t- we're gonna we can't go over it much. Four teams that you have winning in Wild Card Weekend. I have Houston Chargers, Seattle Eagles. Joe, well, I like the two road teams in the AFC: Indy and the Chargers. And I'll go with the road team in Seattle. And uh, what's the fourth game? Uh, sh- it's uh, Chicago against the Eagles. Uh, I'll go with the Bears. All right, Rusty Boy. I'm taking the Eagles. I'm going <coughs> to take the Cowboys. The Ravens, for me, are going to win that game uh, at home and Houston. Okay, so we'll end up playing Houston. We'll play Houston, and then yeah. we got to hope that Baltimore knocks the Chiefs off. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so you have yeah. or Baltimore or the Chargers. Yeah. yeah. All right, Timmy Boy. You can take a pass on that. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, I didn't do my homework. We'll go to the <laughs> Celtics. We're 21 and 15. We, again, each week, it seems I'm repeating this, we are still – Fifth in the Eastern Conference, and as we know, there's not a lot of movement at times, and boys. And doesn't girls. look like it's going to get any better between and, and now and the end of the year. After January 1st in the NBA, maybe fourth. They have oh, a very yeah. uh, look. They have a huge home schedule coming up. Yeah. However, they have a lot of quality teams that they'll be playing. Are you afraid that we could end up in that fifth spot, which is danger, the danger zone, if you're thinking about going to the uh, finals? I think without any other injuries, we'll we'll end up in the third spot at at. Worse. Which is ideal at the very least. Yeah, because yeah. then you'll get home. Court We're only the first like round. two games out of like the third spot. Like you can, these teams are so bunched at the top of the East and all throughout the West. That we go on a set, we go seven and three in ten games, and we can make up two games. But we're actually five games away from not making the playoffs. Yeah, but you should get into that. I'm just saying, as far as we are. Sure, but we're not we're not realistically gonna drop much further. I think we're now in the well. We're about six games back of Milwaukee now. I think. No, we're less than that. Yeah, but you see the efforts like that they had against San Antonio and stuff. And you Did you question see that, that game completely in four minutes? That game completely Have you ever seen a game change away from fast? Yeah. Yeah. San Antonio hit every freaking see, shot that they for took. For me, it was interesting. I watched both of those games closely. I thought that the loss to San Antonio was almost better than the win in Memphis, right? Loss in San Antonio just hit everything, right? Every, right. Everything. And, and we that missed it sometimes. And it's we just going to happen. Yeah. Missed Everything. Right, and that Memphis yeah. game was the one where I could not believe what I was watching. The only reason why I won that but game is because Kyrie went off. You know off. what bothered me about that San Antonio game? Hayward, four or five oh, times, he was rough. his shot, and he passes it up. Yeah. He's been doing that all season. He is yeah. regressing. Yeah. I, I, he can't remember he had that right one now. game where he was so great, 30. and we thought that was – I don't know if it was the television I was walking on. He looked like a slow, pudgy white guy out there. He sure doesn't look like he's in shape. He and doesn't look he, like you know. And he doesn't look like doesn't he can run fast. with the rest of the guys. He doesn't look chiseled either. He kind of looks a little pudgy. Joey. Yeah. Look, Joey. Look, I told like you, me. Grandpa Gordon Hayward. I called that. <laughs> I called it. I'm, I know you guys. I hate to, I right. hate uh, to you agree with you, Scott. Yeah, yeah, it I pains me that. to agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> look, I guys agreed with you guys. He's He's yeah, we, we said by the end of October, then November, then December. Jalen Brown looks like he's going the other way, too. Yeah, you sure? Brown had a great game the other night. He was awesome the other night. But, you know, you talk about the Memphis game. And it shows how valuable Al Horford is because yeah. all of a sudden that fourth uh, period sighting of Al Horford yeah. taking over the game oh, is what this guy yeah. can do. And, of it's course, we've ste- seen the two years in the playoffs. A steadying influence Especially on that Especially with whole no team. Baines. Well, you know, yeah. they're, 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 a, they're a small team mm-hmm. right now. I'm surprised we don't see a little more Williams out there. Well, well he's been injured hurt. lately. And yeah. look, he's the, got a uh, I don't think out. what happened in San Antonio happens the other night if Baines is there protecting the rim. I mean, those guys had an open season on the rim the other night. There was no yeah, one there to driving. stop them. They, they yeah, missed a try, get the rebound, take another try, miss that, get the yeah. rebound. That's a great point. Uh, Daniel Tice, who we love, mm-hmm. has been exposed. To oh, that. I jinxed oh, him. Yeah. I remember two weeks ago I asked you, either in private or on the show, I was like, do you think Daniel Tice could be our next starting center? No. The answer to that question is, is no. No, no, no. 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 What it, it just he's it, a nice role he player. He is yeah, a nice right. little role player. Yeah. Uh, he runs other the, than that, he's he's not the Yeah, man. you send him in for with his six fouls, you go in, you beat I up felt, on the other I team. I fell in love with the guy 
in the role he was in last year. Because he runs the court well, Timmy. Yeah. And he's, you know, hack a shack, whatever. He's just yeah. in there doing some yeah. damage oh, and yeah. make, making some. Beat him up. He looked very poor defensively. We're, we're just I asking. We're asking did, him to do more than he did. He looked poor can defensively do. against yeah. Santos. He was getting left in the dust. Yeah. All right, boys, week after week, we have to. We can't ignore this anymore. It's, it's the elephant in the room. Marcus Morris arguably is our second best player. Yeah, he's an unrestricted free okay. agent. So we can't NBA. just be so flippant and go, well, Marcus Morris will no longer be on the Celtics. Yeah. You can't let your second best player. I, I, I use this as an example, Adrian mm-hmm. Beltre. Remember when he was our best player in yeah. 2006 for that one season? And everyone was like, all right, well, he left. Nobody really cared. And, of course, he ended up 12 more years maybe, of a Hall maybe of Maybe he'll be uh, traded for Jeff Green then. Here at the but, trade deadline. <laughs> boys, I think we have to reevaluate and say that Marcus Morris should be part of this team moving forward. Remember, February 7th, well, trade deadline. Yeah, they're, they're never going to trade him. No, they, you could. No why would you trade him this year? You, they, Danny's done it in the past. Yeah, yeah poorly. Perkins, but, yeah, I mean, I don't <laughs> think they can afford it. It didn't work out. Unless – Brown has certain, some sort of an epiphany and starts playing like the, the guy whose ceiling we think is reachable. I don't think it's going to happen. I agree. I think you have to take a hard look at Morris. Here's the thing, though. Morris sort of very famously took a discount contract with his brother about five years ago and is still paying the price for yeah, that. That's a bizarre That is story. a man who is going to take the absolute highest offer in the offseason no matter what. So you have to be prepared to go the distance if you want him to retain. And he's 29 years old, which right. is I it's mean, his that's, last kick at the can. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But I'm just saying that we can't be so flippant on this show. No, on Marcus Morris, it's right? been yeah. terrific. And we can't be trading him for a no. bag of balls. Yeah. This is a legit guy. And if we want to get to the finals, Timmy, we're gonna need Marcus Morris. Sure, he can fill the bucket. For All sure. right, so boys, rebounding is a problem. I saw a statistic recently that I don't know eight game stretch that we're 27th in basketball in rebounding mm-hmm. to me what i've seen is effort just a lack of effort and that's too many be, offensive rebounds being given up gotta be on brad stevens right now yeah. <laughs> you, know, yeah. I, you know i know that, it's that, that's fundamentals and that's supposed to be brad stevens specialty i saw i saw a play the other night in the aftermath of it where um they gave up a rebound ball went out of bounds and Kyrie turned around and started yelling at somebody and i about grab it coming in and grabbing the rebound so i backed it up and it was tatum who started running the other way down the court. And, and Kyrie's point was, you need to come back and rebound, young man. Oh, yeah. You have Jason. to. You're six foot ten. Yeah. You're not Kobe yet. Right? You Tatum's do. definitely in the sophomore slump right now, as no. far as I can see. No, but, no, I but think I think, I think his shot selections are bad. And, and he's, not, he's not squaring up on a shot. Remember, do you remember last year when he was, he was deadly? And uh, yeah. he's like in motion. He's coming across. He's not... He's not setting up properly for his shots. Well, he's not giving the effort on the defense. He goes into end. these little yeah. funks where you know everything he's putting up is going to miss. Is it contested, too? Yeah. yeah. You're, it's don't, a great don't point. you feel well, like, it, like that no. San Antonio game? I don't, if he got the ball, if he was shooting, I, I said, he's going to miss. Well, yeah. that meeting they yeah. had, there were two guys yeah. I think they were, that was mentioned a lot. We know Jalen Brown was mentioned yeah, a lot, Tatum. and Jason Tatum yeah. was mentioned a lot, too. But when once Baines went down, go, uh, going into that, they were like the number one and number two defense in the league. Once he's gone down, now they've plummeted yeah. down to the bottom half. Yeah. You know what I did notice when Marcus Smart came in? Things got better again for the yeah. Celtics. Yeah. He, he plays he, at he high needs, effort all the time. He needs to be on the court more, I think. He's yeah. the leader of the team. <laughs> I really believe that. Yeah. You know, I know he's not the best player. Obviously, yeah. Kyrie is. But Marcus is. All right, so we go to the Boston Red Sox. And again, you know, they won the World Series last yeah, year. heard that. Uh, you yeah. hardly know it around here. <laughs> the greatest team in, team in the history of the Boston Red Sox. A mile from I, I won't get, That is my favorite season. I, I'm still just so happy and so still pissed off. Do you remember that we were Bowl? sitting there I, and I said, this is the greatest team we'll ever see, Scott. It sure we're is. sitting at a game. No, it was almost a stress-free year. <laughs> it, really it really was. was amazing. All right, spring training, boys, is next month, and I can't wait. Yep. Not for spring training. I can't wait for the damn season Road trip. to start. Road trip. Yeah. And catches. <laughs> so I can't Road believe trip. this. We had already buried him happily and, and ragged on him a couple weeks ago. But Carson Smith, unexplainably, has been signed to yep. a minor league contract. He was the only troublemaker, other than, of course, Hanley Ramirez, on the team last year. Why do we need Carson Smith he's in to the, move forward? He's in the, the price is right. He's in the Tyler Thornburg Hall of Fame, yeah, as right. far as I'm concerned, right? Is it the kind of thing where... Dombrowski makes these deals. I don't Back even, basement deal. I don't even know is. if he even made that deal. I don't. I, I feel like that was almost Cherrington. But that he makes a deal and that he wants to see if he can get some results. He's going to take the Belichick 
approach to his relief staff. He's just going to flood the zone with just second-rate relievers yeah. and hope that two or three of them Training stick. camp fought out to see what happens. Yeah. Some guy will develop a splitter or something. Right, exactly. Yeah, these are weird signings. So under the weird signing category, I have this sense that when Drew Pomerantz is coming back to no, the Red Sox, Oh, God. He failed so miserably the second half of last year. I don't see how they could sign him again. Oh, pitch batting practice. There is so <laughs> – well, look – if you don't forget that he was on the he was the oh, World the Series roster. roster. Yeah. No, he came yeah. back on yeah. to the World yeah. Series roster, and apparently he was throwing great side sessions. I've never heard uh, somebody laud side sessions yeah. like they were lauding. Yeah, <laughs> Cora Cook was raving about my, it. My, night, my nightmare was to see him walk out of the bullpen and head to the mound. Yeah. yeah. Did he pitch I think at he all got in into, the I think he made an appearance. I somewhere down the, the line, and it was a complete in the disaster. World Series though. in the playoffs at okay. some some point, but not the World Series. I don't think. I was like, yeah, so. I just dre- I don't don't yeah. let him leave the dugout. <laughs> he just <laughs> lost it overnight. Yeah, right. I mean, he lost it overnight. I mean, in in by all accounts, he wasn't injured. So that would be the same as like a boxer throwing the the white towel in. You know what I mean? When yeah, Pomerantz comes forget out, forget about it. Yeah, yeah, we've had some bad luck with some lefties from the Felix DeBron to the world and stuff. When all of a sudden they show great potential, and that's it. But guys. There's lots of free agents right now in Major League Baseball a lot of them. without offers. So it's kind of like, you know, that's not seem we're going to be wait till spring training. End up probably getting some. For sure. When they get a little desperate. Relatively good players, right? It's going to be very interesting to see how this whole thing shakes out with these, the big, the top guys. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Because uh, nothing's happening yet. Well, I don't think anyone's going to give out those big giant contracts. Uh, it just yeah. doesn't make sense yeah. anymore. There are whole there are a lot of middle class baseball. The whole middle of baseball is being hollowed out right now. And there are a lot a lot of these guys that you mentioned who are going to be late signings are decent middle class baseball players. You know, who's Absolutely. really capable of giving these 10-year, 40 million dollar contracts? The Yankees I mean, and there the might Dodgers. be four or five LA maybe, the Yankees, the Red Sox. Like the Yankees Ratings seem to have learned from their percent for the Yankees last year. They're gonna spend. But that's they, a lot but, of money. But they, they just signed to the. But how has that helped them? They yeah. haven't won a World Series in a dog's age. That's, I mean, can you imagine how much money that is? That's more money than if they filled Yankee Stadium a thousand times. But you know, I like look. I like new players, and of course, we had J.D. Martinez last year, and look, mm-hmm. I kind of made a little difference, boys. I, wouldn't you like to see? some new players, some new faces on the Red Sox team this year. I mean, I know, obviously, we, we're bringing back the band, but it's always nice. It's very exciting to see new players. Do we yeah. have a new player yet? Not one, really, Well, right? don't you think Chavis is going to make the team? Well, I think that, you know, if they don't end up signing a second baseman off the scrap heap... But he's not a second end, baseman, is he? You can, I think you can convert a guy, you know, easily to second base. Maybe. A yeah, young yeah. guy, I From mean... third. It's our third yeah. base potential guy, right, we're talking about? I just yeah, think because you can't collide into the second baseman anymore that it's not as difficult a position yeah, yeah, yeah that we've makes seen sense. we've seen yeah i guess we don't have a new player on our on the red sox yet right no we didn't have any rookie contribute at all to the red but, sox last but year. even since the offseason we haven't even signed a reliever right hey baseball's got to get it going with the public relations and the social media stuff it, it's dead yeah it there's I nothing know. going on this yeah there's more talk about every there's other no sport but baseball. There's no league at all anymore. Not, nothing at all. And they have their own network. The, the NBA, <laughs> yeah, right. the yeah. NBA is destroying baseball when it comes to the football. It, it, they're eating football's lunch, too. Yeah, yeah. Manfred was a bad hiring. Uh, you know, oh, he yeah. was just the yeah. next guy up, and it was ridiculous. He wants everything to stay the same. Stay okay, the same. you know, I have, you know, I'm so looking forward to the season, but what I'm not looking forward to is Edwin Nunez. Do you think he's limping right now somewhere, <laughs> right? You know what I mean? There's certain things that just bothered me during the season, and I can't have another Edward Nunez soccer play style season. He gets out of the, the rocking chair. This guy, when he plays a baseball game, he looks like he's in a football game. Yeah. I mean, every third play, he's hurting something. Yeah, this is going to be my guy. This is going to be my Daniel Nava. This is going to be my Brock Holt. <laughs> really? I've decided, you're you know, something, you're you're something to you're scream about. Your call. My call that Edwin Nunez is going to be like – All right. Chalkboard Russ stuff. picks the hero, you pick the Yeah, vote. I pick That's it. Right. Scott needs a focus for his hate. Oh, That's yeah, right. so my hate is all it's Edwin Nunez. Right it used to be Hanley. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all, well, Daniel Nava. Nava. Hanley. Hanley. Um, J.D. Martin. No, well, he has okay. gotten rid of J.D. Drove. Yeah, I, I, except, for except for Brock. Except for Brock. Yeah, no, right. That's and he's won his way back into his house. He's got a big has. Brock doll with a hot over it now. <laughs> you know, you know. All right, so boys, we have to mention the Bruins God, so and the Winter fun. Classic. What a great game. That never gets old, and it's always great yeah. for the Bruins. And, and on top of everything else, it was a great game. I mean, it that sure Bergeron play, 
that he made and he lifted the stick and then they come back down. That was that's a that's a Hall of Fame. That was kind the of best player. they played all year. Oh, too. It was a terrific game. What I would say that they should mortgage a part of the future right now because you have Bergeron and Chara. You have two very special players who are aging and don't have much time left. You got to see if you can try to win another. Can you get I don't a, think they can get over the top though. Can you get a Nash tight? I mean, obviously not Nash, but one of those. In the past, they've gotten a Gilna. In Nash late. Could I we get another guy like that? they're in the rebuilding phase right now. I don't think, yeah. don't think they're going to trade they're close if, you, if you got them a great third-line center, that wouldn't give them a Listen, cup. You know who might the bane, the, the spur in my saddle is Tuka Rask. I have yeah. no faith in this guy yeah. at all. And that's the problem. If you know, if you They would rip that, that contract the kid, up. The the I like the other kid. Right. I, like, I like the other guy. Uh, Much, Halak, when yeah. I go to a game, I'm praying Halak's in the net. Ras just gives e so many soft goals away. Can't it's handle ridiculous. the puck at all. Either. You know, he's, he's terrible. terrible. Well, yeah. that's look. That just proves that the NHL that was a really good Although idea. He, that he was, was good in that. And in that that the classic. He, set he the re record game. for ratings, I guess. Yeah, uh, that's true. Beat the best ratings in five years. Yeah, great break. game. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. So much fun. Well, the setting, Notre Dame Stadium. Yeah. It's classic. I, I, to be honest with you, the introductions and all the stuff before Listen, is is is. The they wore all the yeah. old fashioned garb in. Uh, yeah. This, there's and they were the the walk in. The build up like they've had. One of the worst games I've ever been to was the Winter Classic at Fenway. I was behind the first base dugout and I. I couldn't, couldn't see, see a thing. Eighty percent of the ice. <laughs> you probably thought, oh, right on the dugout, great. Seats. That's what I thought. I watched the game on the jumbotron. Yeah. You know, for three hundred dollars a ticket. It's America's or most beloved it. ballpark. Oh, not for Come hockey. Tonight. All right, boys. Well, that's our show tonight. That went quick. Yeah, it did. Want to thank boys. Want to thank everyone behind the scenes. Of course, the lovely and talented Adrian and William the intern who yes. really stepped Super up today. Job, William. Uh, please check us out, out on our website at thegrandstanders.com and tune in again on Friday night on Dirty Water Friday Night Live at ten o'clock. We'll be live from the greatest bar in Boston, Massachusetts. That's our show for tonight. My name is Scott Kerman. Have a great and happy night. I'm Scott Kerman. Have a great and happy night. <laughs> The elephants are in town. <laughs> yeah. Here comes the circus. <laughs> <laughs>